Uh, yeah, uh, I'm passing uh, the book around. Uh, but be, by the way, if, if you like what you're hearing, if you think you know a story that's better, with or without cows, it's up to you. Uh, you can share. If anyone want to tr sign up, anyone want the list to come up back there? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone want to take the challenge? Anyone up for the challenge? I see somebody want to take the challenge. Yeah, let's try the challenge out. We'll see how that works. Um, I have the bag. <laughs> the bag. So, hey, welcome. So, uh, our next person, he's uh, a, a comedian as well. That's true. Yeah, but, somewhat. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Me as well, and uh, and and he's uh, I love his. Uh, he's got a lot of energy on the stage, which is one of the things I really appreciate uh, about what he does uh, when he comes up. But he, I think, is either going to tell us a story or he's going to take the challenge. I'm not sure. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Brandon to come up on stage. Yeah. Right. There's ever. A point in here where there's too many people, I think I might just do my thing from back there. All right. Well, right on. There you go, sir. All right. So we got a, we got a challenge here. We got a challenge. All right. There's a lot of pieces of paper in this bag. I came prepared. I see. That's why this is such a good event. All right. No, I'm going to stop fucking around and grab a piece of paper in three, two, one, and... Really did a deep dive. <laughs> okay. Would you rather have all animals feel compelled to obey you if you come within 10 feet of them or be given the opportunity to genetically design a pet that will be loyal only to you with the combined DNA of three animals? Yeah. <laughs> kind of complicated. Okay, well, let's see. Let's talk about the first option. I like this. This is very uh, Chuck Klosterman-esque right here. I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I've spent a lot of my life wishing animals would stay away from me. I, I oh yeah, it's okay. Drink some water. Drink some water. I heard, I heard don't faint, please. Um, oh, it's an echo right there. Um, I, I don't, I don't give a shit about animals. I mean, I, I want them to live. I don't want any of them to die, except, you know, for the purpose of being in my belly. But, yeah, I know. Uh, but I, I just, I'm fine. I'm fine with animals just being animals. What I don't like is people foisting pictures of their animals upon me, you know? Anytime I, I meet somebody or if I'm on a date with somebody and they're like, Oh, let me show you a picture of my dog. Oh, let me show you. Isn't he just the cutest one? She wants to dress with you. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I do not, could not. I'm just like, well, that's nice. And then I'm like, all right, yeah, that's, that's nice. They stop? No, they keep going. They keep going. And they're like, oh, no, no, let me show you. He's on my couch today. We made brunch together. We made breakfast. And look at this. He was like, oh, God, you judge him. I'm like, cool. <laughs> cool. Um, and I, I hope it stops there, but they just keep going. <laughs> They just keep going. What you what you do? I'm like cool. I'm like mm -hmm. I just try to show my disinterest by giving them diminishing returns on my reaction, but it never deters them. It never ever deters them. So I, I try like I I hope one day I meet a girl that doesn't do that to me. Um, the second part of this question here, I've obviously I got to decide on this at yeah. the end here. I got to come down with a final verdict. Uh, be given the opportunity to genetically design a pet that will be loyal only to you with the combined DNA of three animals. Okay, so... I've never wanted a pet. I've never wanted a pet. I've had dogs and cats and rabbits growing up. But I've never particularly wanted one. Um... And, you know, other people's animals, I'm cool with them. I'll let them live. I'll treat them decently. Um... So, and I've never wanted a pet, and when people uh, try to show me pictures of their pets, I just want to tell them, no, go lay down, which 
I don't want to treat my friends like I would a pet. That's the whole situation I wanted to avoid. But, okay, perfect world here, right? Perfect world. Three animals. Three animals. Can they be... Do they... Can, can they be extinct animals? Animal. Extinct animals, yeah. All right, so... If I'm going to pick any anybody, all right, it's got to be a... Got to have a cat in there. Got to have a Siamese cat in there. I want my... Uh, my theoretical pet do not give a shit about anybody. And that's the attitude that a Siamese cat can bring. So, you know, I like the size, I like the attitude Siamese cat is going in there. The second animal that I would throw into the mix there, I don't know, a goldfish? Because you don't have to pay attention to it. You don't have to pay attention to it, you feed it once a day, you don't even have to feed it that much. You spend like three zwolte a month on food for it. Boom. There. And the third animal. Third animal, huh? Hmm. <laughs> A third animal. Jesus Christ. Dragon. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to minimize the fire risk <laughs> to any animal. To any animal that's here. Humans are animals, aren't they? So, so, part fish, part goldfish, part Siamese cat, part human. Not just any human. Not just any human. Um, it would be nice to have a pet that also wouldn't mind cuddling with you. So, you know, maybe a, a human of the female persuasion. And... Uh, Somebody that doesn't give a shit about me. Somebody I don't have to... This is just sounding really fucking terrible. I am not a terrible person, ladies and gentlemen. I'm putting the mic down. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That, <laughs> that did not go where I thought it was going to go. 